Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. Today we will learn how we can log SQL queries in Spring Boot. For demo, I have created a Spring Boot application which will just return the user by its ID and name. Let me show you a demonstration. Let's run this application. So you can see here the application is started. Now we will go to the browser and just hit the request. So some logs are printed and result is printed here. So sometimes what happens this JDBC template you know the JDBC template is executing this query and returning some results but you want to, for debugging purpose you want to know the exact query that is being executed behind this so to know the exact query that is being executed we can log these queries in our console or file so the first method to log the queries is to change the logging level of the spring jdbc code package so for that just go to the application dot properties and provide the logging level this so we have provided the logging level debug to this package so what we will do now we will we will rerun the application and check whether this is successful or not so the application is started let's go to the browser and try to hit the request now you can see here the lines are printed in which the query is also printed but you can see the params are not printed here to print the params also you need to change this logging level to trace and rerun your application application is started go to the browser hit a request so you can see at debugging level the statement is printed your query and at trace level here the parameters are printed index 1 at index 1 the parameter 1 is set at index 2 the parameter first is set another method to log queries is by using logging groups logging group is helpful when you don't want to mention or remember the exact package you want to log so as you can see we have mentioned package here if we don't want to mention the package here we will write like this so we will use SQL group here and let's suppose we want to log with debug level so let's start again the application you can see the application is started just hit so you can see the SQL query is printed here another method to log queries is by using proxy libraries there are a number of proxy libraries available which provide greater flexibility for logging SQL queries and provide much more information about the connection as well here I will show you how we can use p6 spy library to log SQL queries. So just go to your prompt.xml. Here you will have to define the dependency of p6 spy library. So this is the library we will use here p6 spy. And you will have to change your data source configuration 
in your configuration class. So what we will have to do here here we have provided the data source but what we will have to do here is to wrap the data source with p6 data source class so just we have to clean our project again so it will download the dependency also now we will import this class so to use this library we will add p6 data source and wrap the actual data source with this class and will return as a b in your configuration class so now just run the program and let's see what's happen what happens application is started just go to the browser and a request so okay we have to disable this first just disable this and rerun the application just go to the browser and request so some logs are here so what this library will do this library will create another file in your project directory spy.log so you can see here the last statement is mentioning all the information about connection the timestamp the URL the query and the query with params if you don't want to wrap your data source in your configuration like we did here basically wrapping the actual data source with p6 data source if you don't want this to happen then you will you, you will have to use starter basically p6 spy spring boot starter you can use so to use the starter what we will have to do is to add the dependency of the starter in the pom.xml we just need to delete this and add the dependency of a starter here in the pom.xml just clear it out and build the application again so that this can be downloaded and go to your config configuration class we don't need this now we will just use normal JDBC template here we will just use normal JDBC template here and what we will do in our application dot properties we will have to add this property here true we will just delete this spy.log created earlier and we will now try to run this application again let's see what happens so the application is up now go to the browser and hit again so you can see the queries are printed here this is the raw query and this is the final query with the params I will provide all the links in the description if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel Rex Rahul